Right now it is time to bring in Ruth Epstein from the Republican American. Ruth, of course, covers our area for the Republican American, but also joins us on a Monday morning. Good morning, Ruth. Hi, Marshall. Uh, busy week, yeah. even though uh, we're faced with uh, lots of closures and pandemic and everything else. Uh, the, the news flowed steadily this week, and we had a lot of stories that cropped up. Um, let's uh, first talk about COVID. Um, we still have some, uh, well, Housatonic is reopening tomorrow on a hybrid uh, basis, but um, as you do, I get the notices yeah. from Superintendent Lisa Carter. There are some classes that are going to be uh, back to distance learning because of an outbreak in certain schools. Yeah, and and uh, and she does a great job. Some people have actually sent me things saying they shouldn't use uh, form letters. Well, I think what she is doing is keeping people informed. Uh, like North Canaan has uh, has the problems, and mm-hmm. uh, absolutely. And, and you know what? Uh, a plethora of information is much better than no information at all. Yeah, absolutely. We know exactly what classes are in or out, and uh, it's important to know. And she reiterates every time about washing hands and wearing masks, and I think that needs to be said very much. Uh, so that's always in the forefront these days, but uh, lots of other things going on. Politics. Uh, right. Over in Sharon, your former colleague, Dale Jones, uh made a statement as a Republican. He was quitting the party because of all the stuff that's gone on, especially the uh, insurrection at the Capitol this week. That was the final straw. Um, And I understand that brought quite a few comments. Well, I posted uh, Dale's statement up, and yeah, easily uh, between my page and the Sharon page, probably 150 comments, yeah. Mm -hmm. And most of them favorable, most of them favorable. Yeah, well... uh, not easy to, to do that, but he feels very strongly. And um, Here in Kent, we lost Don Connery, a noted author and uh, activist. Uh, Don was, as we know, very active in the Peter Riley case and getting him exonerated after he was convicted as a teenager of killing his mother back in the 70s. Um, he was a Time Life reporter all over the world and, uh, and a very... Um, influential part of the community. He really became um, very uh, involved in every aspect of Kent and loved living here. Um, We also uh, talked to, um, well, there was a meeting in Falls Village, and Henry Todd talked about the gas station uh, that's been waiting to open at the the intersections of routes 63 and 7, and uh, Henry's frustration came out. He's just uh, upset with all the bureaucratic red tape. As you know, anybody who's gone by there has been ready to open for months, yeah. but uh, the red tape has caused yellow tape to be uh, covering the entranceway, and uh, hopefully they can get that open because um, there are no gas stations between uh, Canaan and Cornwall, so this would be very helpful. Um, Cornwall, speaking of Cornwall, has had a lot of meetings this week. Uh, one was a update on this sewer. They're trying to get this wastewater facility uh, proposal up before the public, and now it looks like it'll happen this spring in a referendum. Uh, the substandard septic systems and wells in West Cornwall uh, really need to be addressed, so the committee says, and they've been working on getting this facility up in, um, at least before the public. And um, Planning and Zoning Commission in Cornwall is also working on um, a lot of re- amendments to the regulations, and they've been working on uh, home business uh, rules. Uh, to you know, now nowadays with so many people mm-hmm. working from home, they want to uh, get those in appropriate state. So, um, as we said, lots lots going on tonight. Um, we have a um, ceremony for Martin Luther King on Zoom, uh, put on at Noble Horizons. Yep. Looks like Mary Ellen Baldwin and Michael Brown are going to entertain, and it sounds really good. I would uh, encourage people to go on. It's at 5 o'clock, and you can zoom in. 
And, uh, yeah, and, and tomorrow uh, we get back to normal where there's a, a Salisbury has the P&Z with a special meeting. Sharon Housing Authority also uh, the transfer station meets on Wednesday. But also uh, with the Biden inaugural, uh, they're asking cities and towns around the country to participate in a national memorial to remember and honor the lives lost to COVID-19. It'll take place at 5.30 on the 19th. And uh, right now we know that St. Mary's is doing it mm-hmm. uh, and St. John's. And I think other other uh, uh, churches and towns are going to get involved in this. So, going to be bell ringing and things like that. Bell ringing and, and lighting of lights. Lighting of lights at, uh, at five thirty, just to remember uh, mm-hmm. everybody that has lost their lives. And it's approaching four hundred thousand. They say five five hundred thousand by the time uh, the uh, by February comes. Unbelievable. It's just it's in- inconceivable. Just unreal. Um, and then Sharon Board of Selectmen is yep. tomorrow as well, am I correct? Yes, they meet. Yes, uh, yes. and then on the horizon, uh, we are going to have the ski jumps. They're talking about uh, setting it up and getting ready. So. Uh, it's, I recommended them to the Torrington area, uh, the, the Torrington the Health Department, and uh, they came up with, uh, uh, they can allow 400 people uh, in. They have to stay six feet apart, and when people leave, other people can come in. The food venue was shut down but they're going to have food trucks to replace that oh, there's no okay. do- human dog sled race but they are going to uh, on on that that night they are going to have target jumping and there's free admission and then the rest stays the same you just have to s- s- socially distant and uh, and uh, they'll allow no more than 400 people in at a time wow and uh, you know what people there in the winter time have have face masks on anyways right so. <laughs> cold anyway and uh yeah but it's nice. It's nice. I tell you what. It's nice that they're that. It's nice that they'll be able to to do it because yeah. uh, people. It's a nice way to get outside and support Swasa. Right. At the same time. And 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 promote some normalcy yeah. in the in this crazy times when everything else has been shut down. So, um, I, I I give credit to all these groups and organizations who are coming up with creative ideas to be able to um, keep on with what they're doing. Um, Libraries are having all these talks and Zoom meetings and uh, boards of everything are meeting. So hats off. Yep. It's not easy. Not easy. And uh, hopefully we can uh, cover most of them. All right, Ruth, I want you to have a good day today. And uh, Yeah, Marsha, you too have a good week. And as we always say, stay safe and uh, onward and upward. You know, I got an invitation to uh, one of the virtual... <laughs> Events of the Biden administration, the inaugural. Oh. I have no idea why I got the invitation. I'm not going. I'm going to sit and watch my. I'm not going to watch Joe Biden. I'm going to watch the the events on on, on my TV. But it's funny because I was a big Bernie supporter. Yeah, I did switch over and, do, and donate to the Democratic Party, but I think they made a mistake. <laughs> well, I think maybe they listened to you prom- promote some things, and uh, yeah, good for you. Good for you. All right, Ruth. I will check with you next week. Okay. Take, Take care. care. Bye-bye. Ruth Epstein from the Republican American, rep-am.com on the web.